Hey, this is Penelogy number one from Earl Grey. And the topic today is Jaime Hernandez, who did a very fine cover for this band. You can hear in the background um, Seven Year Bitch. Uh, there was also a um, Brit pop band called Love and Rockets, which named themselves obviously after the comic book by the Hernandez brothers. And uh, this Love and Rocket band um, made me curious. Uh, a band which called themselves after uh, a comic book that sounded strange to me. And so I mm, tried to check out these wonderful books by Reprodukt. The German publisher didn't make a Deutsche Mark then because these books didn't sell as good as they would have deserved. But I am very thankful um, that I could have them, because the stories and the characters, they go along since then with my personal life. And these characters are not just characters, in the story, but even if this sounds a little bit soapy, like a, some kind of soap opera, which Love and Rockets is in a way, but n surely not in a bad way, um, these characters, they live and breathe, and sometimes I m may wouldn't be surprised uh, in the first second if they um, call you on the phone and say would say hey here's Maggie here or here's Ray because they are such believable characters normal human characters even though in the past they lived through strange adventures and uh, obviously more crazy than my own more boring personal life. But I want to talk mainly about two pages from Love and Rockets News Stories number four. Gilbert Hernandez, Amy's brother, did a cover with very characteristic uh, female figure. For him, he likes uh, his women this way. But the best story in this book is The Love Banglas by his brother Hami. This is a story, the story of Maggie and Ray. This two have an on and off relationship over yeah, you must say the last four decades because they are both in their 40s. And I'm in my 40s too, which makes this comic very easy to relate for me. No kitty stuff. Uh, but to be honest, they don't behave always like adults and avoid each other when there's nothing to avoid and oh and this is the soap opera theme maybe that shines a little bit through um, okay we are in the story at a very ugly point because Ray had an accident and he fell into a coma and things uh, didn't look very pretty at this point and there's a lot of suspense going on and we turn the page and there's an interruption of the narrative and nothing happens just a panel with a little girl um, 
uh, and uh, uh, at a somewhat at older girl, and we realize, okay, this uh, is obviously Maggie in different uh, parts of her life, and you can see. Uh, her in different situations and you see that she uh, her, her look uh, which changed uh, over the years and so on and so on and we go to the opposite page and there's this little boy which turns out to be Ray in different phases uh, of his life and um, then after some time you realize realize that the panels are connected to each other the first panel on the left side is connected to the first panel on the right side and every pair of each pair of panels shows us the connection between Maggie and Ray in their life and if you had read the stories before it's a nice summary of sorts of these aspects of love and rockets love and rockets isn't uh, just uh, uh, love stories it's um, much more than that um, luckily but uh, happily no? <laughs> um, but you can see how uh, Jaime Hernandez uses the medium comic to his own uh, purposes and uh, just the way he portrays Ray when he's drawing Maggie and Maggie making fun in some kind of uh, art model pose and um, yeah it, it revives the feelings I had when I read some of the Love and Rockets comics and you wish everything good for this two people and uh, it's so human and touching and Oh, I get uh, goose skin or how you say uh, just retelling this and uh, it may be kitschy or soapy but I I was so glad that everything turns out fine for both of them Okay, to finish this, I want to read a fan letter by someone who can do this comics more justice language-wise than uh, I may do. And uh, this is Matt Fraction, who all, you all should know about. And he writes in Love and Rockets number five about this story arc I was showing you. He writes, when I started reading Love and Rockets, I was living like Maggie was living and probably about the same age he was. I was a post-punk post rock kid crashing on futons, drinking and going to shows and getting into all kinds of trouble to great soundtracks and terrible girlfriends. And last night, as my wife and two kids slept around me, I looked at the sack underneath Maggie's chin, the bags underneath Ray, Ray's eyes, and felt all that history wash over me, of feeling not old exactly, but like an adult, of growing up alongside these characters you've crafted, of loving them all so much and wanting that last panel for them so very badly. It was perfect. As thankless and tiring and fucking infuriating as comics can be, thank you so much for your work. 
Um, you and Gilbert remain unending inspirations as weird as that may sound from the Thor guy or whatever. Anyway, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Matt Fraction. And I would like a uh, thank you too. Goodbye. Thanks. Uh, thank you for listening and watching. Till next time.